Bakit ayaw magdilaw? Grabe ang cleavage. Oh my God. Oh, tingnan niyo. <laughs> Parang I feel that I gain weight. Hello everybody, everyone. How are you today and how are you tomorrow? Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow is another day. And let's face the tomorrow with the face. Let's face the tomorrow with the face. Okay, guys. So, hello. Hello, everybody. Every all. How are you today and how are you tomorrow? So, today, it's a very hard day for me because today is our last day of our salons. So, two of my salons are already sold. And now, it's time to let go. So, I actually gotta go to the salons a little bit to say goodbye and it's very very heartbreaking for me because that's like part of us for the past 12 years we started our business in 20 uh, in 2008 and now it's it's time to say goodbye so it's a very emotional day and talking to you this way it's very um it's very hard but you know what? <laughs> it's really time to let go because the business is not working for us anymore. And, and um, yeah, we can't pay the rent anymore and it's not bringing us money anymore. So it's really, really time to say goodbye. And, um, well, that's just really it, right? That's really how life is. But we must move on and... Let's face tomorrow for, I mean, with a brighter few, uh, what with a brighter um, outlooks, insight, and all that stuff. So yes, it's very very true. Walang forever. There's really no forever, ever and ever. Amen. But like I said, it's a very um, tough day for me. But I'm sure that when I wake up tomorrow. Today and the next day, it will be okay. I'm just indulging myself to feel sad because that's part of moving on. You, um, as a person, you have to go through the pain in order for you to get over it, like fully. So we must go through the pain right now. And so let's just talk about my salon. So... How did I start my salon? We started our salon in 2008 in February. And um, February 2008. And there were so many... Um, I'm not going to say challenges to be honest. Like, no. I don't really recall there were, that there was like so much challenges to start the business. But a lot of hard works. There were a lot of hard works, a lot of, a lot of sleepless night, a lot of going out to the streets and giving out flyers and and so many hard, like so many emotional, emotional stress because sometimes like a lot of my stops that I grow old with they were actually like doing so many things like one of my staff who got pregnant and one of my a few of my staffs the uh, they filed a complaint against us and all that kind of things but you know what bottom line is we started from nothing we started with one salon and we ended up having like 11 salons <laughs> in the end so I mean you know we had like 11 salons we had we had um, coffee shop, we have three restaurants and all that stuff. And all those actually, it was just from our hard work. So even if now we let go all these businesses right now because of the pandemic, um, even if we let go, um, what I learn is it will never be the end because now we are equipped with all the experiences in life that will bring us to a better future so it's not the end 
it's just really time for us to let go in order for us to start new. So, in order to start new, let's wash our face with Flight Attendant Beauty Secret. Here we go. Yes, um, you know, it's not like, it's not like, um, we're gonna, we're gonna what? We're gonna stop doing business because of some, some, um, some business that it's no longer there or it's, we are giving it up actually. So, it's it's really really it's just it's just right to talk about it and it's just right to feel sad and it's just right to really um to really like what absorb all the negative emotions because that's just how you get over things if i will not feel the way i feel probably i am like what um heartless <laughs> heartless i already sold so many salons actually to be honest i sold so many salons and i've um i just didn't even go there anymore but this time i gotta go and really say goodbye because these are these salons are like the last few but i still have one salon for men that i also want to sell and also i have one more salon for women that eventually wants to sell and i will also sell my restaurant because my plan is to be ready to go home and probably go somewhere else i don't know so that's it guys this is how i deal my pain this is how we should all um we should this is this is how we should we should face we should face the, the challenges in life. We all go through. We all go through with challenges, and um, each one of us has has its own challenges. But bottom line is how you deal with it, and it is important that when you fail. Well, I don't even consider it as a failure because you know what. I started from nothing. I started from nothing at all. I was just, I was just, um, yes, Sir James. So, oh, actually, there are so many blessings. There are so many blessings. In fact, in fact, this is just a salon. This is, um, yes, Fatima Authentic Gopa. We should face the real face. <laughs> We have to face the real face. It's, it's um, it's actually like we are not closing. We are selling. We don't close. We are not closing. We are selling. So, eventually, I'm gonna let go of it because you have to um, as a as a business person, you have to know when to give it up. You just don't hold on to something. You just don't hold on to something that it's no longer working for you. This is like relationship. It's like a relationship. If you are in, if you are in a relationship with someone and that someone is no longer working for you, you need to give it up. Of course, there's a lot of considerations. There's a lot of considerations to consider on when to give up. But this, you see, if I will not give up my business, I I will end up losing everything i will end up losing everything oh my god jetty manakwa basi nakabanaka og foreigner madam jetty manakwa what do you mean nakabana og foreigner do you really have do you really have anything in your mind that when someone speak in english this they are married to other nationality or when someone has businesses or when someone um, when someone does something good or or like like make some money they are married to other nationality can you please freaking open your brain open your brain okay not everyone who succeed on what they do marries other nationality where is the freaking brain right here please help me okay why why do you always associate 
a woman who seems to be successful and who is doing good to be married to other nationality. Where is the brain? Where is the brainer here? Can you please open your mind? Because you, I'm sure you are not ignorant. Eh? Not everyone who is doing good with what they are, of who they are, or whatever they're doing with their job, with their business, with with their lives, they're married to other nationality. Seriously, seriously, open your brain. We're talking about. <laughs> we're. Ta I mean, you actually lo you you actually got me out of my. <laughs> But thank you because you got me out of my emotion, <laughs> of my um, my drama, drama. So, but yes, okay. So first of all, so first of all, do not think that that do not think that when you when someone is doing good, when someone is building a bigger house, when someone has a car, when someone wears really nice dress when someone has neck gold necklace when someone has nice watch they are married to foreigners foreigners those people who think that way they are so stuck up in the brain and they are actually very limited understanding about life i will tell you what if you work hard if you work hard you put your heart into whatever you do you will succeed, okay? Not to marry other nationality. You don't need to be married to a foreigner in order for you to speak the way I speak, to act the way I act, to dress the way I dress, or whatever. So, now, think about it. Not everybody married to other nationality. Okay, so open your mind and open your brain. Do not be judgmental. <laughs> Do not be judgmental because you are not a judge, okay? So, here we go. Um, what happened is, yeah, relax talaga, madam, relax. Re relax. Serious? Oh, yes, because I was seriously talking about my drama and then you came up with a comment are you married to basi namin yung kag other nationality madam basi namin yung kag other nationality madam madam for your information for your information some of our kababayan who's married to other nationality they are cleaning shit okay for your information so it doesn't mean that you are doing good with your life you're married to other nationality some of our kababayan they are cleaning shit okay that's what i wanted to tell you just to get by because they are married to other nationality that's exactly how it is so that's that's it so you you please open your brain to those people who always think that marrying another nationality is the only solution. Diba? Yesterday, once more, Madam Marta, na nationality, giminyo ni Madam Wakwak. <laughs> yes, I know exactly. Exactly that. Madam Wakwak, basaha ako po sa akong order, sa cup lang. Marlene, yes, Madam. Order, order na mo. So, yeah. Here we go. This is the real story. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that we are giving up our business. We are actually um, not gonna do another business anymore because when you fail, well, well, I'm not even considering it as a failure because sometimes you need to know as a business person, you need to know when to give up. It's the same as relationship. You should know when to stop investing your emotions on on things because sometimes it's no longer working for you so it's really it, it's it's really um it's a big um uh, it's a big loss from my end to be honest it's because of the emotional attachment but and it's also like i i we we grow so much we grow so much from these businesses um not only in terms of um personal but also um we also grow financially the best those businesses really help me so much help us so much i don't think we would be able to invest things in other countries if it's not um if it's not because of the businesses so well once again i did not close a business i sold 
I sold my salon business. So two of my salons are now um, sold to another owner. And, and um, yeah, so the two of them are already sold. So that's it. That's um, This is the last day. This is our last day. I don't know why the, the new owner is so atat atat to take over. But anyway, let them be. They wanted it, then they can have it. Um, as long as they pay. <laughs> as long as they pay but like i said you know we never i mean especially me i know now that i have learned so much on how to how to start a business and how to open the how to open a business and how to make it grow well i don't think um i will have hard time to do it again or to open it to open another business again um I'm just I just need to concentrate on some other money making business that would would help us out. Paano mga stuff? Okay, so stuffs will be now working with the new owner because that's just how it is. The stuffs will be now with the new owners. I mean the new owner. Um uh, Bebski, wag mo pansinin madam. Wak wak dato man ka sa inyo lugar buhol. Ha? Huh? No, I'm not dato. I'm only tudlo dato. Yeah. So that's it guys. That's that's exactly how that's exactly how life is. We will learn from everything and we should also know how to let go. And and you know, um honestly, honestly like let me go back to to those people who always think that when someone does well, when someone does good, they're married to other nationality because this has been Every time people would know that I have a business, they always think that, oh, she must be married to other nationality. She must be married to a pilot. Yes, I'm married to a pilot, but pilot salubi. <laughs> pilot salubi. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, well, it's too late. That's too late. It's too late now, Ninin. Too late for you. Diba? It's too late for you, madam, but I still have salon for men and we are now opening, We I'm opening, like, I actually I have one other shop, but now I'm transferring to another, I still have one salon, but we're transferring to another, um, another area because we had three salons. Aling salon sold ni mo, madam, business always there. Pag maging okay na sitwasyon. Yes, madam. Thank you so much. Exploring another business. Yes. You know, madam. Yes, madam Cecilia. It's Karama and it's Satwa. And you know, um, me and my cousin Fatima Authentico, we are, we are like this. We are always into business. We keep on, we keep on in, we, we keep on doing business. Any business. Monkey business. Hula hula business. Any business. <laughs> And now I'm actually making money. No, it's not like it's not like I don't have I don't have money anymore. But I still have the money. The only thing is, the only thing is, this business has to be let go because it's no longer making money. So, de ba? Pag business woman ka, you need to know when to let go. When the business is not making money, you let go of it. That's just how it is. And yeah. Anyway, thank you for being part of this of this day and for listening to my to my ranting. Um yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um. So that's exactly it. Ika, ano, Jitima Nakwa, let me just bring you out to this conversation or let me bring you up to this conversation, Jitima Nakwa. I don't know who you are and I don't know what you are going through and I don't know what kind of background you have in your life but I think you have issue with, um, with Filipinos na Filipinos would never, you can never associate Filipinos as um, successful without getting involved to other nationalities and you always want to know personal life of people na 
especially especially jud mga atong mga kababayan na mga kababayan na always think they always think na when you marry other nationality they always think na it will bring you a better future yes i agree there is a possibility that you will have a better future pero only when only when you also work hard for it yes only when <laughs> madam maria maria pangitae ko na si nakwa og afam madam <laughs> pangitae siya afam diha sa australia madam kay nangita siya afam <laughs> Yes. So that's it, guys. That's the story of my life, okay? Story of my life, searching for the right. And now it's, I actually, I, I ex, I'm excited because it's time for me to rock and roll. And at least, we are out of the rent obligations now. And syempre, my staffs, they need to have salary and everything. So now they are, um, I hope that they will do good. And I hope that the business, the new owners were, will actually do very good with their business also. And things will be okay very soon. So that's it. It's all about hard work. Let's work hard for the money. Work hard for the money. Money, money, money. Yes, madam, the real business person, Kono, because we do business because we want money. That's the right attitude for a real. We go to the other business that would really, yes, that's it. That's how it is. Maria, Maria, give a fam, madam. <laughs> madam, Maria, Maria, tagay ko nag afam na akong kasin. Tagay na siya afam. Oh my God, this is like how many times now I wash my face. Just so good. It feels good. Actually, ang mga, ang ako mga, <laughs> hasta si Patima na ngayon nag-apam. Hatagin ninyo nag-apam si Patima Authentico. Muna akong kasin. Yes, and by the way, FYI, nag-close me. Um, no, wala mi nag-close, gibaligya na mo ang among salon. So, we actually still make money. And this money, we're gonna use it for another business. Diba? That's how it is. It's just about the emotional attachment when you look at it. That's why, that's why it's just, it's okay to just feel sad because of the attachment. Diba? <laughs> Ayaw ko diyan sa Australia, mala, maraming inmate. <laughs> Guys, kung gusto mo mangita og afam, kontakin mo si Madam Maria Maria. Si Madam Maria Maria, marami ang kontak na afams. Grabe yung kontak niya na afam. <laughs> afam, afam na siya. Dami kayo ng afam, afam. Yeah. Yes. Ganon talaga. Ganon talaga. <laughs> so, ayan ha. Um, if you are interested to buy sa ato ang flight attendant beauty secret, here we go. Here we go sa go. Kailangan ko. Wait lang kay I will I will get my ano. Kailangan mo. So this is my, where is my ano? So ito po guys, sino yung may mga milasma dyan? Ito po yung ating secret cream. Ito yung magpapabalat ng iyong skin. Ano afam? Ano daw afam? Lydia Mira, try another business madam. Lydia Mira. 
Madam, do you know my businesses, madam? I have a lot of business. Monkey business, hola hola business, hola hola hope business. <laughs> Kahit ano na lang. Ayan na, kontakin mo daw si Madam Maria Maria. Siya po talaga ang may apam. Ano daw yung apam? <laughs> Luella Chungson, hello Madam. Mag-order na kayo. O sige, pamain lang po. Sino pong gusto mag-mine dito? Sino pong gusto mag sa ating sabon? Ayan, pamain na lang po, guys. Pamain. Pamain, mine, mine. Abi na ko, how much ang apam? <laughs> O, oh, ayan. Ito yung kung gusto nyo magbalat ang inyong skin, you need to use the secret cream. And, promise, mga 2 to 3 days lang, okay na talaga. How much po ang set? Hi, madam! Pelly Alpla, nag-start ka ba o business diri sa US? Madam, mag-start ka ba o business diri sa US? Um, actually, madam, I have a business in the US, yung aking rental, house rental, pero... I'm not sure if I will move to the U.S. Uh, I'm not sure now. I have to really focus and ask guidance from the Lord kung unsa iya ang gustong buhaton after here. And like, you know, considering we have a new resort that it's uh, developing sa Buhol and actually duha ang ako ang resort na adidto and so, we'll see. We'll see where God's gonna take us. So, pamain lang po ng sabon, 35 dirhams. Limited po tayo. And pamain po ng ating secret cream. Kung gusto nyo po magbalat ng inyo, ang inyong mga skin, ito po yung ating secret cream. And wait, pamain lang. Asan ba yung aking ano? Collagen! 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 Here I am. Here I am. How do you do? So, ito po yung ating bagong set. Dito lang to sa US. Ito, hindi po to sa Pilipinas, okay? So, pang ano po to? Pang, um, pang US po to at yung mga shipping lang to na dito to sa Dubai. Ito. Ganito siya. Malaki po talaga siya. Kaya po siya mas mahal. So, yung mga nagsasabi bakit mahal dito sa Dubai at bakit mahal, mas mura sa Pinas. Kasi po, Malaki po ito. Ayan. Set of four po tayo. Set of four. Pamain lang. Kung nasa Pilipinas kayo, kontakin nyo si Fatima Autentico, si Jennifer Jade Guevara, si Nida Sanki, si uh, Ella. Sa Cebu, marami tayong mga seller. Kaya mag-ask lang kayo. Ito po yung ating nag-buy na ko kay Ma'am. E, oh, yan. Si Madam Venus Santillan. Ayan. Pamain lang po. Ito po yung ating eto pwede po tong ship rich roads ayan sa Pilipinas mag PM lang kayo ito po yung ating set of 5 na 185 dirhams or 55 US dollars ito po 55 US dollars po ito na may mga afam yaho pagwapa na mo kay na may mga afam yes madam so ito po yung ating collagen cream ilalagay ko na po sa aking mukha sa aking face look, I'm gonna put it here in my face. Kung saan ako pag-contact, PM lang, madam. PM. PM ka lang. Meron din tayong seller sa Davao. Asa ko nagpalit og cream sa Davao. Diri sa Davao. Na, meron tayong seller sa Davao. Si Tommy Francisco, ang ating seller dyan. Tommy Francisco po, ang kanyang FB. Otherwise, mag, mag ano po kayo. De Cuisine, she floor. Saan ka, madam? De Cuisine. Where are you, Madam de Cuisine? Beauty, she floor, et la bouche. Madam Ami Sadon, saan ka, Madam? Okay, pa PM lang, Madam. So, ito po yung ating collagen cream. Ilalagay ko lang po yung aking collagen cream. Kasi po, sa umaga, ang ilalagay mo lang is collagen cream. Okay? At yung sa gabi, Secret cream. Pag nagbalat ka na, pwede mo nang ilagay ang collagen cream at yung secret cream. So, ayan, naghahanapan na sila ng mga afam. So, ang mga afam-afames dyan. So, ito na po, guys. Isalin nyo rin yung inyong mga neck labush. 
Ang nakagandahan nito kasi, ayan, may pagka-powdery siya, ang ating collagen. Muradjid mo, mga nagtabaho sa kuan ate. So, yan, pa-PM lang. Yes, fresh na fresh. Fresh from the cart. <laughs> fresh from the toilet. So, ayan po, guys. Ito na, oh. Yes, pamahin lang 185 dirhams, madam, sa Sharjah. Ito na po, ayan, nalagay ko na yung aking cream. Nakikita nyo naman po. Yan, ayan. Collagen. Ma'am, gamit lang dayon ko og collagen. Ma'am, pwede sabon dayon gamit. Yes, yes, madam, pwede kayo. And this is our sunblock with shea butter. So, syempre, we want a complete a complete result and a beautiful result so we will also protect our face from the sun sun so we have to use the sun block <laughs> i-block natin ang sun kaya sun block <laughs> nasa cave daw nasa good luck nasa cave daw ang apam sabi ni madam <laughs> Atay, kanis mo na Maria Maria, Jude, as in. <laughs> so, ito na po yung ating sunblock. Ilalagay natin dito. Ayan. Oy, ay, ay. So, ayan, guys. Ilalagay natin dito sa ang ating sunblock with shea butteress. Yes, my... Wala tayo, I don't think meron tayo sa iligan. I think meron sa bukid noon, but otherwise, contact Nida. Yung mga gusto mag-reseller, Nida, Madam, or Fatima. Fatima, authentic ko. Ayaw, sige pangitag. Afam, sagutin mo si Ma'am Luella Chongson. Fatima! <laughs> Gwapa, ayaw, sige pangitag. Lucky niya, Gwapa. <laughs> so, ayan na po, guys. Ito lang po yung napaka-simple, simple lang po ang gagawin nyo. Imbis na maglalagay kayo ng pulbos, hindi na kayo maglalagay. Ito na ang iyong ilalagay. Fatima, autentiko! Cebu, si Ella. Ella, may number po si Ella. Mag-PM lang kayo para maibigay ko yung uh, kanyang uh, information. Para maibigay natin ang kanyang information. Madam, sa Japan, meron kayo beauty secret. Wala tayo sa Japan, madam. Isi-ship lang natin, madam. Shipping, shipping tayo. <laughs> 90 years old. Okay na ng 90 years old. <laughs> Matandang mayaman. <laughs> Ayan, ang dami dami na nagtatanong Fatima. Ayos, sige pangitag, lucky diha. <laughs> sige pangitag, lucky. Ma Maimbor na lang negosyo. So, ayan po guys. Ilalagay nyo lang para siyang powderous ang inyong face look na ulahi ko sa product, madam. So, mag-PM kayo, mag-PM. Mag-PM po kayo. Ganyan lang po ang ating face la look. Ayan, guys. Nakikita nyo po ba? Oh, ayan. Walang tulog to, guys. Pero fresh na fresh. <laughs> Unahan ang business. <laughs> yes, so ito yung ating Ang sa Pilipinas, meron tayong toner. Sa Pilipinas, ang set of 5 is 550 pesos. Once again, wag kayong mag-wonder, wanderer. Kasi itong dito sa Dubai, malalaki po siya. Malalaki ito. So, marami daw sila mga... <laughs> so, ito yung ating set of 4 dito sa UAE or sa America or sa Australia or sa Europe. Ayan, Madam Maria Maria. Daghana kayo nangita ni Mug Afam. <laughs> Madam, ask ko yung number ni Ella. Okay, wait lang kasi wala dito yung ano. Ate, what are you doing? Oh. Sus, nakakaibaw ka nag-live ko? I know. Mm. You're not making, using your brain? So, ayan guys, ito yung set of four. Mag-PM po kayo, mag-PM. Pwede ko mag-reseller. Madam, pwesto ko sa Bulacan. Pwede, madam. Uh, to be a reseller, you need to purchase minimum of 50 sets. Ayan, nakikita niyo po ang kagandahan ng aking scan. ba? Scan. Scan. Sobrang ganda lang ng aking scan labush. 
Thank you so much everybody. Mag PM 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 na lang po kayo. Mag PM kayo. I will see you all later. Alligator. Ayan na yung number ni Fatima. Yung mga gusto mag-order taga Manila dyan. Yung mga taga Manila nandyan po ang number ni Fatima Adorada, patalikura, patuwara pero ayaw at nga kay na ay gabara <laughs> Arlita Magodayaw nandyan po yung number ni Fatima Authentico ayan ito po yung number ni Fatima Authentico kung gusto niyo po mag order, mag order na kayo ayan ang ganda ganda ng feslo ko no diba sabi ko sa iyo eh Pabs, ang ordero, hindi afam, ha? <laughs> hindi afam ang ibenta natin. Kung hindi, Pabs, flight attendant, beauty, secretesh. Kaya guys, kung gusto niyo mag-order, kontakin niyo si Fatima. At maraming maraming salamat to all, to all of you. Hi, Madam Vangelint uh, Drent Salapi. Contact number, Madam, mag-PM ka kasi nandun yung number ko. Free afam, mag-order. <laughs> Buy fabs and get free a fam, a fam, a fam for more. So yeah, guys, thank you so much. Hi, Madam Chona Villanueva. I know you're just watching, you're listening because I'm sure you're sleeping. And thank you, thank you so much. Unsa name sa imong resort sa Panglao? Carmen Oliokliesa. Um, lagkaw sa dagat ni Madam Wakwak. Pero dili pas di dili na pwede pasudlan kay kinahanglan sa mimo kuha og permit. So not allowed pa mo sud right now. We're processing the permit and um yun po. See you later everybody everyone. God bless you. Bye and thanks for watching.